What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to be reacting to me in a dating video today. Fasten your seatbelt, guys. <laughs> so this video was dating six women, I believe, off of their Valentine's Day outfits. So uh, let's just say I really vividly remember pulling all the stops for my fit. I think I'm just stalling at this point because I don't really want to watch this, but you know, my torture is your entertainment. So leave a like down below. Also, I do remember there was like so many edits that went viral from this. So shout out to everyone that reacted and edited me from this video. Y'all make me look so much cooler than I actually am in real life. So. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> what would your Valentine's Day pickup line for me be in a bar? If we met at a bar, I'd say, I'm sorry I don't have any chocolate on me for Valentine's Day, but if you want something sweet, I'm right here. <laughs> wow. That was actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Kind of weird just looking at people's feet for the first part of it, but you know. Bring in the girls! Here we go. <laughs> Guess which one I am. Take a take a long hard guess. It feels weird commenting on people's feet. <laughs> okay, yeah. It feels like I'm not the only one that thinks this, all right? I know it's for the purpose to like slowly reveal the girls, but contestant number 2. I'm seeing 95% heel right now. How far does that go up? Yeah, how dude? tall are those heels? Um, they're probably like 6 or 7. That one that one is me. If you guessed, which I'm sure you guessed right. Dude, and you know what, he's six and or seven, you know. <laughs> oh my God. That works too. I'm glad they could coexist. Okay, so contestant number two, I love the boots. <laughs> Bro, what am I saying? Um, you know, I definitely I was so think nervous. that I'm to switch. I think it depends on what my partner is interested in, but you know, we can both have fun. Yeah, the cool thing That's about real. those shoes is they look a lot like my favorite necklace. Oh, <laughs> all right. I definitely think that we might have a similar favorite necklace then. I think that for the circumstances, that was that was a totally fine response, you know? I was just trying to be smooth with it, and he was coming around with a bold, yeah, that's that's my favorite necklace too, so. You know, I respect, I respect the boldness, Hunter, but holy, holy shit. <laughs> what would your Valentine's Day pickup line for me be in a bar? Are you a professor? Because I have a physical theory that I need to test set. <laughs> They already set us up for failure by being like, choose a cheesy pickup line. Like, that will never be a flattering look. There's about like three good pickup lines in total, and like, we know that we've all heard them. No, no, I like it because you're going straight to the top. You're like, I'm not gonna waste time on these rats or, yeah. you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, yes, I'm gonna go of course. For someone with a doctorate. And you know, it's good because you're gonna know the, the results because you're the doctor. Totally, yeah, yeah, I'll be able to like. Them trying to make sense with my pickup line is not a good sign. Thank you. <laughs> but that was such a dope part about this too, was just like meeting all of these girls and like all the other people that I met that day. And I, I, did, I did meet my ex-boyfriend that same day, so. And it, it was, spoiler, not Hunter. I'm so sorry, Hunter, but yeah. There was a dark part, but now I realize it's see-through and I can see your toes, okay. Yeah. Yes. He was just making sure that he could see her toes, that's good. Thank you, yes. Um, are you a bank loan? Because you've got my interest. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, see, that's so much better. <laughs> it's so, like, so much better than mine. So much smoother, made so much more sense. I was trying to be creative with it and it was just like, it was just not, it wasn't panning out for me. So just learn from my mistakes. Okay, elimination All right, round. ladies, so this is a moment of truth. Round one, elimination. Hunter, how you feeling? I'm scared. Yo, I was scared. Forget about Hunter. He's not the one that's like being eliminated. I, I don't want to hear that you're scared. No, we were definitely like all behind there. Like behind this curtain, like this close to the curtain. That's what y'all don't see is that like, we were literally like this close. <laughs> it's like getting hot and like, we had to talk through like the curtain and not make it seem like anything that was like pulling up the curtain because we couldn't reveal anything more. It was a difficult day for us. So, you know, I really, d I just don't want to hear from Hunter that he's scared. We were shaking in our boots or in my case, my gigantic eight inch platform dummy mommy heels. So, to each their own. <laughs> I don't remember who he eliminated. I have to eliminate contestant number five. 
Oh. And the only reason is because I feel like you've made me expose too much of my finances. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think he like exposed something about his house or something. I know, but I also can't see the toes. That was another reason I was just I have French tips. You couldn't see my toes? The, the two people who you couldn't see their toes, let's just say, we did okay, guys. We did okay. Yes, I wish I would have had open toes. My toes are really cute. Ooh. Okay, okay. well, I'm so the sequel's gonna be fucking crazy. <laughs> Hunter, just say you have a foot fetish. Just say it. <laughs> David. I know, she's beautiful. Oh, she's so pretty. She was gorgeous. She was really sweet, too. I feel like she was a little bit nervous, but such a sweetheart the entire time. Oh, heartbreaker. Legs, round two. Shit's getting serious. My legs are literally just my boots. And those things are a, <clears throat> a unit. But they leave a lasting impression. <laughs> they turn around. Metaphorically and literally. <laughs> Yo, why does he look so happy? Some legs! What? That is crazy! I've never seen I've never seen a woman's legs in my life. Okay, contestant number one. Me? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> that might that might need to be blurred. So if my love life or our love life was a rom-com movie, it would be Zach and Miri make a porno because you'll be Zach and I'll be Miri and we can make a porno for my OnlyFans. Wow. I just made this, <laughs> I just made the exact same face the Hunter just made. Contestant number two. When I saw the heels, I did not know that they would go that high up your body, um, but I'm not upset by it. I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> uh, I am, to be 100% fair, a little scared. Uh, okay, all In right. a good way. I think that sometimes I don't realize that some of the outfits that I choose are like a little intense. Well, let's just, let, I feel like that's the most friendly word I could use among other things. That's what I was going for, so like, mission accomplished. I don't know, y'all. I love those shoes. Their names are Fernando and Frederica, so. I'm glad we're communicating. I'm super vulnerable. But it's yeah, he, he's super vulnerable. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Going, going from I'm scared to I'm super vulnerable is so funny, I love it. Look, you're so smoking that contestant number one is coughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. If our love life was a romantic comedy, I would say it would be 50 first dates because I am a strong believer that when you start dating someone or seeing someone, that first initial spark and effort should continue throughout the relationship as if it was your first date. Oh, God, that's it. super sweet. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's super sweet. I do remember that one, actually. I still believe that, I stand by that. It might not have been, you know, Zach and whoever make a porno, but you know. Yeah, yeah. it also makes me worry that we have a second person here with Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can confirm that that's not the case as of right now. Um, so that that wasn't the reason. Thank why you, I was Emma. Chosen, but like, I, I appreciate the concern. What? Why do I sound like an accountant? Why? Like, why do I sound like I'm trying to be like super, like professional? Like, oh yeah, I appreciate your concern with that, and I, you know. In my personal regard, I'll probably get to your request momentarily, sire. We're just playing it slow once a week, so that's almost an entire year of dates. Yeah. With the amount of times David goes on dates with his girlfriend, it could take a decade to get there. Wow, that's, that's a committed relationship. They were dating for like, a minute. Over. They're so cute. Hang out while I edit a video. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was he was trashing on David, but I think that those guys are so cute, David and his girlfriend. Ladies, that's not my real ender. I'm a I'm a gentleman. Usually for me, it's. Uh, I'm gonna call you an Uber. Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would crucify someone if they did that. Uh, the drama. Same affection for, and it's because I don't have any Oedipus issues. It's Mamma Mia. I'm so sorry. I can't seem to imagine screaming that in bed. So. Mamma Mia! <laughs> uh, I gotta try that sometime. I gotta try that sometime. You know? You can't, you can't yuck until you try it. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, it was great, it's great. Thanks, thanks. I feel like Dave She was also so sweet and so pretty. Okay, I mean, it's a round three, hey! Say, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a great round. I feel like I didn't really class it up on the last reveal, so this time I'm, I'm going real gentlemanly. Yeah. I love how they're they're treating this like to the level of like, you know like the show The Bachelor? I feel like they're treating it to the level of when the Bachelor in the first episode is meeting all of the Bachelorettes and there's this dramatic music and, and she's slowly walking in and then there's a turnaround and 
that's what every single elimination round is, and you know. And turn around. <laughs> Bro just barked. I feel like you're missing um, a little some like. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah. can you please elaborate? I was next to her like, whoa, oh my God. Uh, where, where did you get that top? I can't give you my secrets, but it'll be on your floor later. Hey, yo, girl was. I love this outfit so much. It's by, uh, I think, Fancy Club. Please send me stuff. I love you guys so much. Oh my God. It would be unholy because I'm an unholy experience. That's oh my God. Bro. Sam Smith follows me for some reason. Oh, wow. Oh, oh there we go. Humble brag. That's the only. Casual. Okay, got it. That tracks with the outfit. That tracks with the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at least I'm being consistent. It's tough. The outfits are all really great, but the only thing that is throwing me, I, I want the date to be really light and airy, and the very dark outfit is kind of throwing me a little bit. So unfortunately, contestant number two. Hunter, just say you're afraid. Just say you're scared. It's okay. Like, this is a safe and vulnerable space, as we previously stated in this video. It is all right if you are afraid of me. And you know what? You could have just come out and said that. I, I created such a safe space for you. And, you know, I, I just hope that you live to regret not being able to be vulnerable with me in that moment. For Valentine's Day, I'm gonna have to say this is not my outfit choice. Okay, that's all right. <sighs> Immediately starts crying. No. <laughs> it really does come together with everything else. Oh wow. Hi. Gorgeous. Hi. And do you have a tattoo? I do. I actually have 12. 12 tattoos? Yeah, they're just kind of hot. Guys, I have like 20 now. 12 tattoos. Yeah, they're just kind of you all over the place. I, I loved it personally. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, and the eyes were... Love you, David. You you stood by me in that moment. Thank you. I, I owe you one. There was this edit that went really viral on TikTok of just that moment. So shout out to the person who made that because y'all made me, like I said earlier, y'all made me feel so much cooler than I actually am in real life. So thank you so much for that. One of my favorite parts about this video was seeing other people's reactions to this because I think a lot of a lot of Twitch streamers and a lot of other just reaction channels on TikTok and other pages were reacting to this and so it was cool to see everybody's opinions on kind of how it all ended up going but I don't know I, I wanted to give a little bit of a, a goth girl serve and you know if that's not that's not what was on the menu for Hunter that day then I wholeheartedly respect that but finish this poem Roses are red. Violets are blue. When I first saw you, I just knew. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I love how that's like her one wholesome answer. That's <laughs> like the very end. Violets are blue. If you picked me, I'd get your name tattooed. I love that. Like, who was gonna top that, bro? So I would finish the poem by saying, roses are red, violets are blue. Is it hot in here or is it just you? That's also cute. I have literally no idea what I was gonna say. Okay, this is the final moment, you guys. We were deliberating yeah. for a long time? Yeah, yeah. I'm just happy I'm not in it anymore so I don't have to react to me. Based on what I would want for our Valentine's Day, which is coming up and as someone who hasn't had a Valentine's Day with anybody in years. Uh, Loser. Dude, oh my God, that just came out. David, oh my God, bro. It's true, you just get broken up with. No, I, don't. I didn't get broken up with. I got broken up with once. The other times. The other times they just stopped answering. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh my God. Old Valentine's Day with is E. Oh. Yeah. I love the E one. Um, okay, guys, that uh, that was my 28 minutes and 46 seconds of what would be modern day torture. Uh, <laughs> I would love to do another David video sometime. I think that those videos are so just like silly, fun, and entertaining as fuck. Oh my god, this video got like five million views. That's okay. Maybe I don't do another David video. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I, I love doing David's videos. I think that he does such a great job with making sure that everybody feels so comfortable. Like behind the scenes, David is so good about being such a, a host and also just a friend. So shout out to David. He's been absolutely dominating. He has 2 million uh, subscribers right now, over 2 million. So he's been growing so much. So thank you again, David. Real shit, all jokes aside. Thank you so much for having me in that video. I had such a good time. Oh my God. Okay, so I actually, I'm reading some of the comments that you guys left on this and it was so sweet. I think that like one of the top comments involving me was Someone said Emma was the best girl in the over-sexualized answers, best outfit, best face. I, I don't even agree with that, so that's super nice. I think that literally all of the girls killed it in different ways, and that's also a perfect example of that not everybody is for everyone. Like, every girl would be perfect for a different person anyway. Emma has that goth girl vibe, but is so freaking wholesome and charming. Dude, that's so nice. What the heck? E and Emma are absolutely unreal. Like, they're amazingly gorgeous. That's okay. Y'all, I need to stop. You guys are so nice. I I don't know. I, maybe I just need to go on a date with all of you guys. I think that that's really what I've just learned from this answer. So, and that is the end of me being tortured for a number of minutes um, <laughs> rewatching myself in real time. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for being so unbelievably kind to me in the comments and beyond. You guys are so cool. Uh, and yeah, I hope you have a badass day and I'll see you guys in the next video.